So I think the main thing that Rockstar wanted to convey in the first trailer for GTA 6, which was a kind of introduction to the world, is that this world and the people in it are weird, wacky, eccentric, whatever you want to call it. And that makes sense. It's a Rockstar game, it's a GTA game, and it's based on a fictional version of Florida. Um, and, of course, those uh, those social media videos kind of emphasise this madness, uh, play on that Florida man stereotype, and we know that these um, a lot of these social media videos in the trailer were based on, or heavily, in, heavily based on, heavily inspired by real life social media videos or real life things that went viral or whatever. So um, a lot of that is kind of backed up by a list of what are called world events, which was leaked back when um, all that other footage was leaked from GTA 6, that the development footage and so on. We got a list of hundreds of what are known as world events. Now, what are world events? It's hard to say for sure, but um, it seems like they will be the kind of random events or, you know, strangers and freaks type things that we've seen in previous GTA games. And also, I think the main thing to kind of go off is Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously, that was the last game that Rockstar released, and I think it makes sense to look at that for what sort of things we're going to see in GTA 6. And that happens, these kinds of things happen happen quite a bit in Red Dead Redemption 2, where you'll come across an abandoned building and you'll unravel a mystery, or, you know, you're attacked and you have to um, do some, do, you know, a mission or do something for this person, whatever. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot more stuff like that. And that seems to be the case. Uh, that's what's kind of outlined on this list of world events. So I thought I'd go through them. Uh, I'm going to go through them quite quickly. Um, and I've highlighted in red some of the kind of more interesting ones that I thought were more interesting. Um, but there are over 800 on this list. Um, and some of them are more interesting than others. And some probably aren't kind of interactive so it's hard to hard to kind of determine what what exactly everything is also i'll say that some things have been kind of cut off so you don't get the full picture but we'll see we'll just make do uh, so here's the list and we start with 3 a.m club malibu club ocean view vice beach plaza now i don't know what 3 a.m club means uh, my first thought was um uh the midnight club the um Rockstar game from years ago about street racing, but I don't think I'm I'm not not um, convinced that that's a reference there. Um, but the Malibu Club, Ocean View, and Vice Beach Plaza, I think, are all hotels. So whatever a three a.m. club is, I don't know. Uh, then we've got abandoned car, and we've got one at the pier, sea view, train tracks, trash pit, and woods. I don't know if that's going to be just just an abandoned car or. Um, if, you know, we'll go to, uh, we'll find this abandoned car and there'll be some sort of mission that we'll do, you know, maybe you find an abandoned car covered in blood or something, um, or maybe there's, you know, a load of money in it and then people come after you. I don't know. It's obviously that's hugely speculative, but several abandoned car events, abandoned hotel. That's really cool because we've, I mean, I love seeing abandoned buildings in games. I always think to the abandoned hotel, uh, sorry, not abandoned hotel, the abandoned church in L.A. Noir, And that always sticks out in my mind as a great game location. Um, and I'd love to see something like that. And we do, we do kind of have abandoned motels in the kind of Sandy Shores area of GTA V, but they're not really, not much is done with them and they're not that accessible. So hopefully we will see more in GTA 6. We got abandoned hovercraft. Uh, I don't know if that's sort of like a an airboat. If when they say hovercraft, if they mean airboat kind of thing on on the Everglades, or if it's an actual hovercraft, which would be really cool. I'd love to have a hovercraft in GTA 6. That would be lots of fun. Abandoned observatory. That's also really cool. Hopefully that's a real place. Um, 
and that we can go inside as well. I think one thing that everyone can agree on for GTA 6 is that we want more interiors. We want more accessible interiors. Um, abandoned research outpost. Now, this is interesting because um, there is actually a real-life abandoned research outpost uh, in Homestead, Florida, Homestead, Florida, uh, called Aerojet Dade Rocket Facility, which was obviously a place where they made rockets, and it's been abandoned for years. And I think there are even some kind of rockets that have been abandoned and left there. Um, so if we had that location in game, that would be really cool. And you know, I think it would be great if we have this expansive map where parts of it are, you know, you just go through the Everglades or whatever, and you you're just navigating your way through, and you come across an abandoned research outpost. That would be really cool uh agro definition example i don't know what that means i'm guessing agro means aggressive uh ai ped keys one and target ai ped i'm guessing means pedestrian and keys is obviously the florida keys or i don't know what they'll be called in the game but leonida keys maybe but uh that'll be, that's a location uh ai ped target airport drag one um this piqued my interest because i thought are we going to be able to do drag racing at the airport, essentially? Um, that seems to be what it's suggesting to me, but, I mean, it's qu airport drag one is quite vague, so it might not mean that. But I would imagine that we're going to get... We obviously know we're getting Vice City International Airport, the main, big main airport of the game, but will we get, like in GTA V, a couple of smaller airfields? Or will we get, besides the big airport, maybe a smaller airport and an airfield or something like that? But it would be great to do drag racing at the airport. Ambrosia Tarmac 1 and 2, again, Tarmac, I'm thinking airport, but maybe not. I think Ambrosia is a location we're going to see in GTA 6. Ancient Labyrinth Visitor Center, uh, again, this is something that could be based on real life because there are several kind of labyrinth maze type things in Florida. Uh, the most famous or one of the most notable is um, the Unity of Sarasota. Um, one at the Unity of Sarasota uh, in Sarasota, Florida, um, which is, I think, like a religious community. Um, so I love anything to do with mazes and labyrinths. I always think of that film Prisoners, which is really good. Uh, Angry Women, Malibu Club, Ocean View, Vice Beach, Vice Beach Plaza. So there again, we're seeing those hotels. Um, and uh, Angry Women... I immediately think Karens. Are we going to see a situation at these hotels where Karens are kind of arguing with staff and maybe we intervene, maybe we don't? Annoying Vicky. I don't know who that who Vicky is. I'm guessing Vicky's a character or, you know, whatever. Argument. I'm, I'm guessing that's you know, some characters arguing. Or is it Jason and Lucia having an argument? I don't know. ATV speeders stunt 4x4, so we kind of saw some ATVs in the trailer, but um, be cool to do some stunt races with those. Backseat criminal, uh, I don't know what this could mean, but my first thought was um, if you're driving and maybe you've stopped and someone jumps in the back seat and uses you as a kind of getaway driver, I don't know. Uh, that's, again, hugely speculative. Backyard wrestling ring, which, you know, I hope is exactly what it sounds like, um, where there is just a kind of an unofficial wrestling ring in someone's backyard, or maybe by backyard they mean uh, kind of like an underground um, illegal wrestling ring. Uh, backyard wrestling clue. I don't know why there'd be a clue. Uh, bait and tackle shop criminal bait and tackle shop gang. Um, now that's interesting because I'm assuming the bait and tackle shop is somewhere you can rob, um, but what the difference is between criminal and gang, I don't know. Um, I, if I had to speculate, I would say that, um, you know, kind of sticking with the whole Bonnie and Clyde theme of GTA 6, which is how it's been described. Bonnie and Clyde, obviously, they were the famous ones, the couple, because that was the appeal. They were a couple but they had a gang with them. They had a whole gang of people. Um, so maybe part of GTA 6 is building up a gang. Who knows? Or maybe you get the option to build up a gang or stay solo or, you know, with Lucia and Jason or whoever. Uh, bangs on window, attack player, bangs on window, steal vehicle. I don't know. 
uh, Band, and we've got Quick Shop, Supermarket, Uncle Jack's Liquor, South Beach 1, Banner 1, South Beach 2, Banner 1, South Beach 1, Banner 2. I, like, I don't know what those mean, but um, Band, and then these are obviously shops and shop names. I was wondering if um, after you've robbed somewhere, if you get banned from there, and if you come back, then you... Um, they, you know, the shop owner calls the police or something, or maybe this is um, a random event where we're in a shop and someone who is banned walks in and there's some sort of mission there. I don't know. Base encounter. I don't know what that means, um, whether it's like military base or base jumping. Who knows? Bayside jumper passed out. Um, Again, I don't know what this means. Jumper makes me think of like a you know someone who's going to jump off a bridge, maybe. I don't know. Passed out. I don't know someone who's passed out. Uh, BBP seated debug. Beach bum preacher. I feel like that is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, beach possessions. Are you going to steal stuff off the beach? You know, if people go swimming and leave their stuff there, can you do missions where you kind of nick their stuff that they leave behind? Uh, beach sand project, some kind of, I don't know, sandcastle type thing, I don't know. Um, Big Cat Mansion sounds cool. Um, my first thought was Tiger King, I know that's not in a mansion, but the idea of a kind of Tiger King-like park where, you know, maybe it's been abandoned, all the big cats live in the old mansion or something like that. I don't know, but sounds really cool. Birdcage Clue BMX Hangout, so some sort of BMX type mission maybe. Um, now this is also interesting, Bonnie and Clyde Mystery Barn Find and Bonnie and Clyde Mystery 3 Building. Now again this is interesting because of the Bonnie and Clyde kind of um, descriptions we've had before of Jason and Lucia as a kind of Bonnie and Clyde type story. Um, but the mystery, I don't know what that what that could possibly be, and barn, fi barn find and building, you know, who knows. Uh, next we have break up first and break up second. Uh, I don't know if this is Jason and Lucia breaking up, probably not. Um, although, you know, it, they there might be a break up in the game, who knows. But this could be kind of um, a, a, one of these random strangers and freaks missions where there's been a breakup and maybe someone wants you to kill the other person or some it could be anything like that uh, broke keys liquor store quick shop supermarket uncle jack's liquor uh, again i don't know what that means broke obviously i'm assuming means um kind of having no money so is is there someone in there that's broke and maybe you you can offer to pay for them or Something obviously, you know, I'm going through this list, and some are more interactive than others, and some are more, um, some are kind of bigger than others. Uh, Broken Bridge. My first thought was the bridge in the Florida Keys that is also featured in the game, featured in the trailer. In fact, that uh, bridge, the old bridge that's since been replaced by a newer, newer bridge. Broken Down Car, Shady North Miami, one, two, three, and four. Um, I don't know if this is kind of some, or oh, there's also broken down racer location one and two. I don't know if this is a thing where it, there's a broken down car and you can go over to it and maybe you get robbed or something. I don't know. Uh, burn wreckage, car on fire maybe, or the wreckage of a car on fire and something happens there. Bus stop pineapple. I have no idea what that could mean. Uh, busted cheater, busted fight and just married. Uh, maybe that's the thing where, you know, you another kind of Strangers and Freaks mission where you encounter a couple where one of them's cheated and you need to, you know, beat some sense into them or something like that. I don't know. Uh, buy the store, um, including buy the store, in-store start and out-of-store start. Um, I don't really know. Is this just buying a store? Don't know. Uh, Canyon Etchings I thought was quite interesting because my immediate thought was the Mount Chiliad mystery that uh, was obviously one of the biggest conspiracies, one of the biggest talking points from GTA 5 and turned out, you know, 10 years later turned out to be absolutely nothing as far as we know. So will there be a kind of Chiliad style mystery in some canyon somewhere? Um, carjacking Advanced AI and Carjacking Cat. 
I don't know what that means. Can't imagine you're getting carjacked by a cat, but oh well. Cargo container zero and one. Um, my first thought was in the leaks that kind of were leaked at the time of this list, there's some early footage of Jason kind of breaking into a cargo container and he finds inside uh, kind of weapons and tools and supplies. So maybe those are things that we can do. We can break into shipping containers and, and there'll be goods inside that we can steal. That would be quite cool. Uh, cashier applauds. I don't know if this is a thing where if you do something, the cashier just applauds you, maybe. Uh, Cat Lady's car, car, I thought that was also quite fun. The idea of maybe you just come across a car that's full of cats. I don't know. Um, cell Tower first visit. Cell Tower recorded calls A and B. Chalk art. Chester's music. Clean suburbs. Clark killed. Uh, I don't know if that means in a, you know the shop shop worker is killed in a robbery or something club promoter initial meeting i think this might be another thing that was leaked uh, there was some footage of jason meeting someone at a nightclub um and so that could be the club promoter initial meeting uh concussion construction site puzzle sounds quite fun i wonder if it's going to be like you know the mile high club and the two main construction sites that we have in GTA 5 that 10 years later are still construction sites. Cop arrest encounter, cop pat down, and then we have cop pat down, gang mail found nothing, gang mail found something, location two found nothing, location two found something. So I wonder if this is going to be a thing where cops might just kind of randomly stop and search you and maybe you can pay them off or maybe you can't or you know maybe they'll find something on you maybe they won't find anything and again here we have cop trap alley bingo body shop bulk storage maybe you go in to rob those places and there are there's a chance that there could be police kind of watching and it's all a trap for you dale's shopwell criminal dale's shopwell gang again criminal gang is that two different ways you could approach it Dance mystery sounds ominous. I don't know what that is. Dead bungee jumper. Is this someone, you know, you find, do you see a guy bungee jumping and you see him fall to his death? Or do you just find the body there and it unravels some sort of mystery? Or is it nothing at all? Dead husband disposal. I thought this was quite funny. Um, is this a thing where, you know, you'll drive past somewhere and you'll see a woman disposing of her husband's body or maybe someone you know, needs help disposing of their husband's body. Dead Python, dealer robbery, dealership repo, 3am, there we got that 3am again. Gym, luxury good, ocean beach. This another repossession thing maybe, kind of like we had for Simeon in GTA 5. Dealership theft, direct messaging, dirty cop shakedown, location 1 and 2. So that's what I was saying before about the possibility of being a cop kind of approaching you and searching you maybe it could be a kind of shakedown and dirty cop you know maybe you could pay them off display data port gellhorn one we know that port gellhorn is one of the locations in gta 6 dj clips or clipsy don't know I'm guessing that's a character dog hump dog that again is quite self-explanatory and uh, something we saw a bit of from Chop in GTA 5. So maybe you'll just see dogs going at it. Yeah. Uh, double cross bike accident. I guess it's some sort of bike accident where you get double crossed. Uh, Driftwood house. This sounds quite cool. Intro, outro, return items. Um, so this obviously I have no idea what this could be. But my thought was that you could kind of rob this place driftwood house and then something happens and you you need to return the items or you're given the option to return the items maybe it's something something kind of a bit quirky like the, the uh you know the house is haunted or the items are haunted or something i don't know could be anything uh drive away vehicle repair one dropped item glasses drug deal two drug deal three drug deal cop raid drug deal rival gang drug deal stuck up crew i don't know if that's supposed to be stick up crew uh drug lab apartment drug lab lockup drug lab trailer park drug lab trailer small 
are these kind of, as they say, drug labs where you come across them and you can raid them. DS09 Apartment 1 Gym? Don't know. DUI Sobriety Test? Are we going to see people being pulled over and getting breathalyzed? Maybe we'll get pulled over or maybe it'll be a thing where you see... Um, other cars, NPCs getting pulled over and breathalyzed and tested. Um, because I think one of the things that's been a bit of a missed opportunity in, in at least GTA V was you only really see the cops when they're chasing you. It would be cool to see the cops pulling other NPCs over or chase, you know, seeing car chases. All stuff like that would just make it feel a bit more alive. Uh, East facing location. Easy score, bingo, body shop, bulk storage, burnout scooters, cafe, caraway, cash and carry, closing store. So again, this going back to the what I was saying before, this is easy score and the, those locations. But here we have cop trap with some of those locations. So is it going to be a situation where you go to rob one of these shops, say the bingo hall, and you think it's going to be an easy score, and there's a 50-50 chance of it being either an easy score where you walk away with loads of the money, or it is a cop trap and the police are waiting for you there. I don't know. Elderly Favor Hungry North Miami and Elderly Favor Hungry South Miami. Do you just do a favor for an elderly person who's hungry? Go and get them a burger? I don't know. Elderly Resident. Emergent Stunt Jump. Employee quits. Could this be a thing where maybe it's non-interactive, but you'll be in a in a hotel or something, and you'll just see an employee kind of take off their uniform, throw it on the floor, and angrily quit or something like that. Just kind of stuff like that that isn't really important, but it makes the world feel a bit more realistic. Empty encounter, and there's four of those. Escape time traffic. Everglades fracking. Are we going to see some fracking in the Everglades? Everglades plane crash. Now, this is quite interesting because there have been a number of plane crashes in the Everglades. Uh, some kind of smaller planes, some larger planes. Um, and my thought was to do with in GTA 5 and GTA Online, particularly in GTA Online, when you can be doing something around the map and then you kind of get a blip on your mini map and you see a plane coming in with smoke, black smoke coming out the back of it and you follow it and it crashes and you can go and rob it, you know, get the money or whatever that's inside. Um, and there are also other missions where drug planes crash and you can go and uh, steal everything from those. So are we going to see some of those? That would be really cool. I really like that element of GTA Online where you're, you're doing something and then they'll be just, you know, the plane will just come and start crashing and then you've suddenly got a new thing to go and do. Really fun. Everglades plane crash yacht safe. Everglades water one. Now we've got a load of everyday art, bench shadows, electric monsters, elephant, frog flies, helicopter, koala, old guy, skier, cookie grab, sidewalk creep, green dude, penguin, X cone, X king cone, I don't know if that's a reference to King Kong or King Kong, sorry. I uh, don't know. Failed test. Fairyland forest puzzle. This is an interesting one because this is one that many people have been speculating about online, uh, saying that is Fairyland a basically GTA version of Disneyland or Disney World if it's in Florida, I suppose. And this is something I kind of talked about in my location predictions video that I would like to see a theme park, either, either one that's operating or an abandoned one in GTA 6. But I wasn't sure about whether they would go the Disney route, because if they wanted it to be realistic, it would have to be pretty big, which would take up a substantial portion of the map. Um, and also Rockstar might not want to go there legally with copyright and so on. They might, It might just be more trouble than it's worth so I speculated that they could go with something inspired by bush gardens or something like that uh, fall in encounter far right militia final visit far right militia training trucks only that's really interesting that there's going to be like a far right militia in the game maybe farm monster man chemicals delivery chemicals request first visit monster transform so that's going to be that sounds interesting 
uh, whether it's someone that is kind of like a you know peyote plant situation where maybe a man transform I don't I don't know that seems a bit out there fearful animal fellow dancer fifth meeting firework fight people shooting fireworks at each other maybe first meeting first visit guards fishing there you go is that fishing confirmed for GTA 6 maybe who knows fleeing robber flexing artist encounter so fleeing robber actually um that makes me think of GTA 5 and GTA Online where someone has robbed a shop and you can go and chase them down and get the money back and you can either keep it for yourself or you can return it. I'd like to see that come back in GTA 6 as well. Forest figure, forest phone. I don't know what the forest phone could be, but forest figure makes me think of like a Bigfoot type creature maybe. You see this figure in the forest found sniper's nest that's really cool because i like the idea of exploring this map and finding these places you know you find a sniper's nest um and i've i think i've said it before but it's something that i think for example the far cry games do really well is where you you spend so much time exploring the map and then you find these really interesting little places that aren't a part of any main mission but you know, they're kind of mini mysteries and mini side quests and stories. And I feel like GTA 5 didn't have as many of those. Um, so stuff like that would be cool. Fountain of Youth. Again, this is a, this could be based on a real place. There's a real Fountain of Youth in St. Augustine in Florida. Fourth Meeting. Gang Directions, Burger Shot, Burger Shot 1, Burger Shot 2, Burger Shot 3, Crosstown, Crosstown 1, Crosstown 2, 3, and Little Haiti 1. Gellhorn Racetrack, so I'm assuming that's Port Gellhorn, which is a place we're going to be visiting in GTA 6. Racetrack, I did speculate that there would be a raceway, kind of a NASCAR thing. Um, racetrack would be really cool though, I'd love to have a racetrack in a GTA game, it kind of seems a bit like a no-brainer, but um, we didn't have one in GTA 5, at least not a car racetrack. Uh, Gellhorn Trailer Park, Getaway Driver, Nervous Thief, Getaway Driver, Pro Thief, this is interesting, um, I was wondering, and a few, I saw a few people online talking about this, if... This could be a case of you're hired as a getaway driver for a thief and the experience is different depending on whether the thief is nervous or a pro. Um, so maybe if they're a pro thief, it all goes smoothly and it's all fine. Or if they're a nervous thief, things go wrong and you have a massive police chase on your hands, something like that. So it's kind of ways of making the experience different every time you do these kinds of missions. Giant Bird Nest 2, I don't know, Gimp Suit Kink, I love this, um, it made me instantly think of um, this guy, this would be like, on if, if we ever had a um, GTA set in the UK, this would be on this kind of social media video, video section, but a guy went viral and was actually, someone was arrested um, and charged um, in relation to this, a, a guy was filmed essentially in a gimp suit writhing on the ground at night in Somerset. So I instantly think of that, the idea of you can just be doing a mission and then there's suddenly just a gimp man running around. Also made me think of uh, Lube Man from the TV show Watchmen, um, if anyone watched that. Guardia Fast NM Hideout and NM Minimart. Uh, is the hideout a reference to kind of a safe house or as I'm leaning towards at the moment, maybe our safe houses are motels if we're on the run, uh, mini marts and NM, does that mean North Miami? I don't know. Uh, Guardia, ominous NM mini marts and ominous NM hideout. Uh, Guardia brothers, heist. I don't know if that's kind of a heist in terms of GTA 5 style heist, but something along those lines. Now this is one I'm really interested in and I might make a video, a separate video on this um, about the kind of what it could mean and the implications of it. But we've got hidden tide objects and we've got anchor, cannon and tank. Now hidden tide objects, that makes me think 
of things that are submerged, hidden underwater, and we can only see them when the tide is low, the tide is out. Um, which makes me think, are we going to have a realistic tide kind of system in GTA 6? We haven't had, to my knowledge, we haven't had realistic tides before in GTA. They've always just kind of been the same regardless of night or day or weather. Um, but could we be seeing kind of realistic tides which would when they were low they could reveal these hidden objects like this anchor cannon and tank that would be really cool and add to the realism of the game and i think have you know there are some further thoughts i have on that which i will maybe talk about in a different video so this one doesn't get too long although i think it's already getting quite long uh high cashier 24 7 South Beach and Supermarket, High Cashier, uh, Dale's Shopwell, Quick Stop, Uncle Jack's. My first thought was High Cashier that you, you go into one of these shops and maybe even when you're trying to rob it and the cashier is high, which would be quite entertaining, I think. I don't know if that's, that's going to be the case, but whatever. Uh, high Value Customer. This is, my thought here was that maybe you go to a hotel or something and there's a, you know, a guy pulls up in a very expensive car and you have the chance to maybe rob him, effectively, some way. Uh, hit by car gang, hitman's car. Are we going to find maybe a car, abandoned car, and it looks really cool and if you open it, it's loaded with weapons or something that you get to have, I don't know. Holiday house, homeless community, hop out attack. Hunting accident, both injured. Hunting shelters accident. Hunting shelters one. Uh, maybe this is some sort of mission where you bump into someone, some people who've accidentally shot each other because they've been out hunting or whatever. I.E. Watch Geek. First encounter and second encounter. Again, is this someone who's just a watch geek, obsessed with watches? Impulsive crime, steal vehicle. Um... I don't know what this is, but it could be a sort of situation where you're driving down the street and there's a very expensive, nice sports car and a thing pops up that you can steal it or, you know, and get a load of money or something. Interactive world event test, intimidation tip off, invasive species meet up location one and two, Iris introduce art fence. Um, so Iris seems like she will be a character in GTA 6, and it, if this is anything to go by, she will be introducing us to an art fence, someone who we can sell stolen art to, and they will sell it on, presumably. Iris Laundry, Irish Restaurant, Island Camp, is that going to be an island, say, off the Florida Keys or something that's got a camp on it, or, you know, some sort of mystery going on there? Keys Boatyard, Keys Front, Keys Garage, Kidnapped Victim, can you save someone who's been kidnapped maybe? Kidnapping AI, King Neptune Statue, Keys, King Neptune Statue, Miami, Kingfisher Cargo, Kingfisher Cargo Back, Kiss Cheek Stand FM, Kiss Cheek Stand FM twice, Colt Cargo, Colt Cargo Back, Kudzu House Mystery, Kudzu or Kudzu House, sounds interesting, don't know what that could be, but... That sounds cool. I love, a, love the idea of a house mystery. Uh, large sandcastles, 0, 1, and 2. Leaf links. I don't know what this means, but there was talk, um, and I don't know if this came from leaks or whatever, that the GTA 6 name for the Florida Keys would be the Leaf Links. Um, lean Sizzurp Lab. Lifeguard Tower. Don't know if that means you're going to be working as a lifeguard or something will be happening in the lifeguard tower. Listen party, first listen. Is that something to do with um, maybe coming across, a, I don't know, say a rapper or a singer or something and you take their mi mixtape or something? Little library location, living back room, lost at sea. That sounds quite fun. Uh, maybe you'll, if you go out to sea, you'll find someone who's lost at sea. Lost bird, lost boyfriend, lost crazy woman, lost elderly woman, 
Lost Plane, Lost Property, uh, Lucia's Friends Meet at House, Lucia's Friends Meet Out, uh, Hang Out, sorry, Lucia's Friends Small Favour, Lucia's Friends Welcome Party, Meet Outside Near B something, Meet Outside Near K something. Um, I don't know what those mean, but I guess it tells us Lucia has friends. Uh, M7 Location 2, Makeup First, Makeup Second. Mansion Jumper, Mansion Passed Out. Again, is there someone who's jumping off to kill themselves or whatever? Or are we going to go into this mansion and there'll be someone passed out there? Maybe you had too much to drink or something. Mansion Squatter, Investigate. That's quite cool. I like the idea of um, kind of exploring this abandoned mansion and when you're in there you hear noises and there's someone living in there a squatter message in a bottle i love the sound of that because I lo i'm fascinated by messages in in bottles um so maybe you could be walking along the beach and one will wash up and it's got a kind of mystery that you solve or maybe it's got an address and if you go there you'll find something or a key to a safe or something messy suburbs uh, mine shaft discovery. This made me think of the mine in GTA 5, which was cool but underused. I think they could have done a lot more with that. So I'm excited um, to see if that's something we'll be revisiting in GTA 6. Missing person poster, liquor store, and missing person poster shrine. Is this going to be a thing where we can um, go and find missing people and maybe collect the reward money? Missing tourists, and we've got cave victims location, maybe, that says. Um, which suggests there's a cave, which is cool. Um, uh, missing tourists closure, junkyard victim, submerged car victims, which sounds like an interesting kind of mission. Trailer victim and trophy room. Uh, so is this going to be a situation where some, there are some tourists and if we help them, we can save their lives or help them out and they'll give us some money or you know something else mistaken identity package and pills mistaken valet w hotel can you dress up as a valet and pretend that you're gonna you know park someone's car and then you can just steal it uh mol puzzle complete is that MOL standing for what's next? Monument of Leonida? I don't know. Motorsports hangout? Motorsports hangout again? Is motorsports written like that? Is that a kind of NASCAR type thing? I don't know. Um, mountain biker corpse? Sounds interesting. Going, um, going, exploring a mountain or something um, and you find a corpse. Which also brings me on to the fact that if there's a mountain in this game then is it going to be just based on Florida? Because Florida is notoriously flat. So could it be also inspired by surrounding states, much like San Andreas, or the game San Andreas also included bits of Nevada. And uh, even GTA 4 included bits of uh, New Jersey. Um, we got muggers... Uh, Keys Convenience Store, Keys Gas Station, La Pearl Jewelry, La Pearl Pawn 2, South Beach Happy Juice, South Beach Iguana, uh, Victim 1, La Pearl Jewelry, Laundry, Pawn, Keys Convenience Store, Keys Gas Station, South Beach Happy Juice, South Beach Iguana again. So is that going to be a situation where you witness someone get mugged and then you can help them out and either keep the money for yourself or return it for a for a, some sort of reward maybe multi gym mummified old lady i love the sound of that um it turns out there have been some cases in florida where people have been discovered what well, women have been discovered mummified uh i don't know if that's what this is based on uh, muscle beach gym museum i like the idea of kind of um museum based missions in a gta game I wonder if we're going to be stealing valuable artifacts. That would be quite interesting, like the British Museum. Um, music video. Are we going to be filming or starring in a music video? Um, or maybe we'll walk past one being filmed. I mean, I live in London, and I feel like every day I walk past people filming rap videos. Naked Rolex. Uh, is that a Rolex watch, maybe? We're going to be stealing one. Um, and now we get to all these ones which are... 
marked NIE, which I don't know what that means, but people have speculated online that it could mean non-interactive event. So effectively, are these going to be things that people, NPCs are just doing in the background? Um, and they're not particularly interesting, but I'll go through them really quickly. Uh, squatting garage, standing garage, alligator ambush, ambush boar leg, alligator ambush boar neck, influencer pose for photo, lean-in window drug deal female, lean-in window drug deal male, so you can witness drug deals going on, I guess. Raccoon climbs out of garbage, raccoon rummages trash, raccoon steals food bag, vehicle off-road, uh, some sort of SN11 female, male, female, male, female, male. East Key, South Beach, these are all kind of locations. Shooting range, Ambrosia Farms, Red Hill Construction Site, Roadside Rocks, Red Hill Forest, Seagull, Pigeons, Seagulls, Biking, Stand Female Asks Male, Walking, Depressed Forward, PGH, Fruit Stand. Um, is that PGH kind of a reference to a highway maybe? Uh, drunk bought backwards fruit stand, drunk forward fruit stand, drunk smash fruit stand, abandoned trains, broke bus, train station, train tracks, butt light, is that a reference to Bud Light maybe? Basketball courts, ocean drive, trailer park, pawn shop stand nothing, dairy farm, industrial area, residential, trailer park, again, fist bump FM and MF. Uh, handshake, MF, PGH, Abandoned Building, PGH, Police Station, substa Substation, Wastewater Plant, uh, VC, Vice City Suburbs, North 22, Boat Trailer Car Hangout, Boat Trailer Car Hangout, Car Hangout at Copperhead, Car Hangout at PGH Bingo, Car Marina, Car Open Door with Music, Cars Church, Cars Strip Mall, Multi-car hangout, multi-truck hangout, single car hangout, strip club, single truck hangout, truck backyard, truck car wash. Uh, I'm just going to skip through these. Dirt bikes, port girl horn, raccoons, bowling, roadside rocks, abandoned carnival maybe, dairy farm, neighborhood, uh, residential, delivery, Red Hill Forest, river, motel, South Beach Beach Head Nod, South Beach Pier, uh, Bonfire, Beach Bonfire, Donut Burnout, One Vehicle, Basketball Court, Bowling Alley, Power Station, Pawn Shop, Canal Fishing, Docks, River Mouth, Car Pull Over, Truck Search, Elaborate Beach Chair, uh, Yeah Bro, White Mouth, Sick After, Pick Boogers, Pick Butt, Airfield Coast, uh, stand, can, stand, cigarette pack, car, truck, rev engine. Okay, here we are. We're out of um, the NIEs now. So off-duty cop, orange fruit bus stop, outdoor movie screen, overdose horn, overdose sleep outside car, overdose sleeping, overgrown vegetation car, overheard conversation, overheard conversation angered by or criminal ent. I don't know what that means. Um, overly packed vehicle crash is that going to be kind of something we we witness or see on the news like in the uh, weasel news clip on um, the trailer or maybe it wasn't weasel news but the news clip uh, overpass overpass idiot scared and tough high rise safe house overturned trucks paddle boat trash park south parking dispute Past test, patron deterrent, pawn shop to criminal, gang, criminal gang. There we see that criminal and gang again. Pedestrian collision, ruined clothes. Car fence, is this going to be a, a fence that we can sell stolen cars to? Facade range, traditional range, scenario, test event. Player in store start, pawn shop, pawn two, shoreline, pawn two, pawn, two, pawn shop. Playing Dice, Port Gellhorn Motel, Pragmatic Chaotic, Pragmatic Cool, Prison Hitchhiker, that sounds quite cool, the idea of maybe you pick, you can pick up a hitchhiker outside of um, a prison and 
uh, they try to rob you or something or things go wrong. Quick question, money, money loiter, smoke, rabid dog, rat infestation, redneck yacht club, retired cop. Uh, is that going to be someone who's maybe trying to interfere uh, if you if they witness you doing something dodgy? Um, riding pillion, pragmatic, chaotic, romantic, chaotic, rum bottle, shipwrecks. Those are the kind of um, ship models that people build in bottles. I don't know. Runaway cow, love that. Russian tow truck, drug house, rare shoes, uh, salon patron. Sandbar station, sand car, sand pyramids, sand sphinx. Satanist house was one I highlighted because I thought that sounds uh, really cool. And also we've got up here, I don't know what this means, um, but ominous thrift store. Uh, Scarface crime scene also stood out to me because I was thinking of, is that a reference to the chainsaw scene in Scarface? Uh, which is already referenced in a GTA game because Vice City, obviously most people know that Vice City is based off Scarface and we have a an Easter egg of that infamous chainsaw scene in GTA Vice City. So are we going to be getting something like that again, maybe? Sculpted shrubbery, uh, self-injury, senior vigilante, vigilante maybe. Uh, Shanice, I believe that's going to be a character in the game we've seen from the leaks. Shark cage, I would love if we could go in a shark cage, that would be so cool. Uh, shoe tree, shooting death memorial, shotgun beers encounter, are you going to be able to shotgun a beer? I don't know, signpost. Skunk ape is another one that's interesting because this is apparently a kind of Florida cryptid. It's kind of like Bigfoot's cousin um, and GTA, as we know, has a kind of a bit of a history with Bigfoot and Sasquatch and so on, so... I would not be surprised if this was another conspiracy that was in GTA 6. Uh, sniped victim apartment, sofa tree swing, South Beach, Cordelia Alley, passed out Shores Alley jumper, souvenir store criminal, spaceship house, another one worth mentioning, I think, because this is also potentially based on a real life place because there is an abandoned UFO house in Homestead in Florida, which is cool, so I'd love to see that in-game. Spiritual Journey. Um, now, I thought that maybe this was kind of like a... Um, kind of like what happened with um, Michael in GTA V when he joins um, the Epsilon program and he has to do kind of weird drugged-up missions. Maybe that's something that we'll, we'll be seeing again. St. Joseph Marina Water, Stalled Boat stone sculpture now this made me instantly think of something i also mentioned in my location predictions video which was a place in homestead um in homestead florida called coral castle museum which is full of stone sculptures so i would not be surprised to see that in gta because we believe that homestead is going to be in the game um, but it will obviously be retitled hamlet Strange animal deaths. We've got a buck, deer, and snake. It's going to be maybe someone's killing animals in weird ritualistic ways, maybe. I don't know. Strip club. Stuck vehicle in a swamp. Sun lotion. Greet. Sundown beach. Sundown tarmac. One, two, and three. Sunken airboat. That might just be a thing that we see under the water. Um, swamp safari crazy golf. I would love to play Crazy Golf in GTA. Swamp Tour Crash. Maybe the people get eaten by alligators or something. I don't know. Swole Couple Beach Selfies. Swole Couple Workout Challenge. Now this, I don't know if... I think this, there was also something in the um, NIA bit of this list where this could be things that we've kind of seen in the trailer a bit, on the particularly in the beach scene of the trailer, where you have people taking suspicious selfies and doing things. Maybe that's just things that the NPCs are going to be doing in the background rather than just walking or running or whatever. Target practice, threaten in room, threaten on forecourt, threaten pills, throw and catch, thrown out, tire swing, tires in the ocean, torched cars, 
uh, Tourist Keys, near 0123 Port Gellhorn, South Beach. Tourist Photo Female Art, Female Straws, Photo Jumping, Jumping Whale, Picky Whale. Will we get to see whales in GTA 6? That would be cool. Checking out, tourist to local, checking out, experienced tourist, full tourist, nearly local. I don't really know what that means. Uh, toxic floating trash island caught my eye um, because I thought that would be quite funny. Um, when you think about it, the the oceans in the GTA world are very clean. You never see any rubbish floating in them. So it would be interesting to see that. You're just kind of going out swimming or on a boat and you just come across a massive island of floating rubbish. Uh, UFO, again, this is something that we've seen in GTA games before. The UFO makes appear an appearance at in GTA 5 if you go to a certain place at a certain time, so it makes sense to keep that going. Creator-only UFO Animal House Pen. Uh, underwater Research Facility. This is another one that's potentially based on a real-life place. The Aquarius Reef Base, which is the world's only undersea research lab. And it's uh, just off the Florida Keys. So that would be really cool if we could go and visit that. Uh, unique Tombstone. Van Shipment. And now we have Vehicle Racing. Ambrosia Tarmac 1 and 2. Hamlet Off-Road. Mud Oval. Ocean Beast Street. Port Gellhorn Raceway, maybe. Redneck Yacht Club. Vice City Monster Sculpture. Vicky. Vicky Phone Call. That's that Vicky again. Uh, visit A, North Miami Liquor Store and North Miami Mi Mini Market. Voice in a Storm Drain caught my eye because um, that instantly made me think of it. You know, that famous scene, Hiya Georgie. So maybe that's going to be a reference. Maybe we'll see a Storm Drain with a um, red balloon out of it, coming out of it or something. I don't know. Walk and talk, warehouse gang, warehouse haunted, warehouse sex robots. Now, how could I, how could I not highlight this one? I mean, I have no idea what it means, but it sounds fascinating. Uh, warehouse torture is that going to be another torture thing? That the um, when what's his name Trevor did it in GTA Five. It was obviously very controversial, and I can't see it fitting with the style that we're going for with um, Jason and Lucia. So we'll see what that means. Warm Embrace, Washington Beach Water, Watch Dealer intro. Um, is that an actual, you know, someone dealing expensive watches, stolen watches? Watching Iris and Shanice again, and Vicky. So Iris, Shanice, and Vicky are all, seems to be, seem to be characters that we'll be meeting. And we're coming to the end now, thank God. Um, winged Suit Accident. Now this caught my eye as well, because I don't remember if... If we've had wingsuits in GTA games before, but they they're obviously a big part of the Far Cry and Just Cause games, and so if we get to use one in GTA, that would be really fun. But also, this could potentially be you witnessing someone in a wingsuit having an accident. Maybe I don't know. Uh, Wyman initial meet and Wyman's rant. Now Wyman is another character from the leaks. It seems like he's going to be a kind of conspiracy theorist type character. So that makes sense why he's ranting. W-Y-M-S-C. I don't know if this is Wyman, maybe? Something. Uh, met after shootout. Met Jason. Never met after shootout. Never met Jason. So I guess this is these are different options depending on what you have and haven't done in the game. Maybe that's hinting that you will have kind of different outcomes depending on your actions in game. You'll have more choice over what kind of decisions you make. Yard sale, location one and location two. Who knows what that is? Maybe, well, it's obviously a yard sale, but maybe you can go there and pick up things really cheap that you can sell on for more money, or you can go and steal stuff. Uh, Zach first meet. Again, is this a character called Zach? And finally, Zorbing accident, which sounds amazing. I've never been Zorbing, but um, it looks really fun, and I'd love to do it in a GTA game. Or maybe this is, w again, witnessing someone else having an absorbing accident. So there we go. Um, thank you if you got this far into the video. Um, it's very long, and there are a lot of these things, as I say, more than 800. Um, not sure if all of them will be in the final game. 
some may very well be removed and again I'm speculating wildly in this video so we don't really know what these are going to be about but I think overall what this tells us is that we're going to have a very lively world in GTA 6 which will make us feel kind of more immersed into it and it will make the whole thing feel a lot more realistic. What do you make of these? If you made it this far, please let me know what your thoughts are.